All right. Let's see. We are live. We are live. We are live. This is Soapbox Heroes. I am Tyrone Irvin. Today's topic is what is the true measure of a friend? We got some good people with us today. Sit here for a second. Come right back. Check us. So we're kicking this for my man, Master D. When he need a friend, Houdini's dead. Everybody put your hand up in the air and wave it from side to side like they just, just, just don't care. And if you got a friend, you need a friend, or you want a friend, I want everybody to sing along with Houdini on the one and the two. going out there everybody how's it going i hope you're having a happy wonderful wednesday this is soapbox heroes my name is tyrone nervin we coming at you again hope you get a chance to tune in check us out today we're going to be talking about friendships what is the true boundaries of a friend what is a friend we talk, the, the word friend is you lo use loosely everybody's a friend people say hey i'm going out to work with the people i just met at work and they my friends so we're going to drill in today and talk about friends and what friendship means to you and the importance of friends. We talk a lot about boyfriend and girlfriend, husband and wife, but we never talk about friends. And so that's something that affects everybody. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it tonight. Um, we got three wonderful people with us here today. I'm going to have somebody else joining us here in a second, but we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, Leola, you're the biggest person on my screen. You want to take a second to introduce yourself and let everybody know where you're coming from? Well, hello, this is Leola Mariah. Queen Lee, like a play on words, and uh, you can find me in Houston because I'm a Houstonian all day, every day, H-O-U, where it go down. <laughs> all day, every day, in the H. <laughs> all right, Moon Rock, you want to let everybody know where you're from? What's good with it, everybody? I'm from Kansas City, Missouri, <laughs> residing in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, Moon Rock focus of the 930 Boys Show, United We Fly Movement. And I'm here to rock out with you and talk about what Friends is all about. All right. Ced, Cedric, where you at, man? What's going on with you? Oh, no, West Texas, West Texas, uh, land of milk and honey. Land of milk and honey, what that mean? Too much money out here. Oh, yeah, no West honey. Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I can dig it. All right, everybody, if you uh tuning in right now, if you could take a second to share. If you like something you hear, go ahead and hit that like. The Facebook al algorithm hook us up. When you hit the likes and you hit the uh, the smiles and all that, all the good emojis and emotions, that help the algorithm pick it up. So it, that's your way of helping us share. That's uh giving to the needy and not being greedy. So today we're talking hey. about friend, and I'm going to start off with, uh, let me start off with you, Moon Rock, because you're the biggest on my screen. And we're gonna, I'm going to ask this question. We're going to get a baseline and move on from there. What's the true measure of a friend? 
Um, I think going above and beyond what is expected more than a family member, you know, because you, you, you hear all the things that you've gone through with that person that you befriending that they've gone through with their family. So not, not ever judging, being under and understanding of everything and just being there because friendship comes out of love, not blood. Friendship come out of love, not blood. All right, Leola, what, what's, the, what's the measure of a friend to you? Um, friendship to me is really easy. It's, it's loyalty for one. And the greatest thing about having a true friend is someone that you don't have to make these promises. And, you know, earlier you said about husband and wife. When the one thing I know about having great friends is that we never have to take a vow to be there through thick and thin, for better or for worse. We don't have to take a vow of friendship. And mm -hmm. so for me, being a friend is we don't have to talk every day. But when we do talk, we pick up at right where we left off. And no matter what, a, a friend will know what you need before you even know what you need. And they're there whenever God says, oh, my goodness, I can't help. And then you look down and you have a phone call from 15 good friends. And there that's to me, it's that's what defines a good friendship is loyalty. Loyalty is what defines a good friendship. What about you, Seth? I agree. Loyalty is is a main thing. Um, someone that has integrity. Uh, I would like all my friends to have integrity to do right by me, as well as I would do by them. So you want all your friends to have integrity and loyalty. That's important. Hey, you guys, do it take a certain amount of time to be somebody's friend? How do you know when you're somebody's friend? Can you be my friend tomorrow if I meet you today? And I got integrity and I seem pretty loyal. Can I be your friend? Yeah, I mean, there's there's no there's really no limit to it, but there's certain stipulations. I mean, that you have to go through to actually to be that top of a friend. I guess you would say. And so, with certain things that I'd have to go through to be to be like you know the upper echelon of a friend. So you got levels <laughs> of friends. Of right. Course. I mean, you. I mean, you have some friends that you could. You know, you're comfortable with maybe going out, have a drink, but then there's friends that you can trust with anything. That's the okay. type of levels. That's the levels. What about you, Leola? Are there, are there <laughs> levels of friendship, or is it there either are, you my friend or you not? You know, Tyrone, I could say we're friends. We okay. have been tested, you and I. <laughs> I get, sometimes I know for sure I've called you in. Maybe I've dropped an F bomb. I don't remember. <laughs> I think when you have, you know, when you meet someone right away, that if these are, this is someone that you can call a friend. Um, I, my, as you get older, your your circle gets smaller, and you realize the people that are there with you are people you're supposed to grow with, and that they're going to help you along the way. And um, so to me, there's. There's nothing to, that says that you're a bad friend. You don't have the, you don't have, to have integrity because we all got that drug dealer friend that's like, man, you're not going <laughs> to leave your purse sitting right there. But you know that you can call them in the middle of the night and go, hey, I need help. And they're going to be on the phone with you throughout that time. And that to me is a measure of a good friend is someone that you know is going to be there, is going to pick up the phone no matter what. Like they are never going to change their phone number that you can say anything you want to them and they're going to understand where you're coming from and why you're upset and how you're upset and what they can do to make it better, but really not taking over or taking the reins from you to be an adult as well. So um, over the years, I found friends are the ones that they're there even at your worst, at your brokest and yes. or your happiest. So, so when you're doing uh, when you're doing dirt bad, they, they your friends gonna be there basically. Like no matter what, they're there. And I mean, I would say sometimes I I'm a better friend than my friends are to me. And um, but I've always I've never changed my number, and I've always said no matter what, I'll always be there for you. And 
Um, I've had friends who, like during my divorce, I wanted to die. And I've had people who call me and go, Leola, what's going on? I haven't heard from you. They're like very peaceful. And then, but they knew something's going on. And that's like a, that's something internal that you just, what makes you a good friend. There's no stipulations. There's no echelons. And it's just, you are a good person, a good friend. They don't want anything from you. There's no tit for tat. Tit for tat. It's, I'm here for you because you need me. Moon Rock. Yes, there's sir. Levels to, yes, sir. There's, level, there's levels to friendship. What's that? The Meek song where you say there's levels to this that apply when oh, it comes to friendship? Most definitely, but I don't I don't look at it as levels on what they can do for me, like according to their occupation. I think it's according to like the person. I go off energy. Mm-hmm. So if it's, a, you know, if it's something that I'm needing in my life and that friend is giving me that energy that I need, that positive, not saying I'm an energy vampire, none of that, that's a part of friendship also. But I feel like friendship more than anything fills the void that family doesn't. So it's always loyalty across the board, but it's tough love, it's constructional criticism, it's everything. It's not, it's not like a ride to die, it's a ride to live mentality. I think a lot of us are around ride to die friends. They don't care if you stay in the trap. They don't care if you're in a bad relationship. It ain't friendship for you to sit on the phone with me and listen to me rant and get my heart rate up. And I almost give myself a heart attack. That's not friendship. <laughs> and it's like, this is what we call in friendship, but it's not. Friendship can be more powerful than family ties because you choose to be somebody's friend. You choose to accept them for their everything, everything they gonna go through. You should hope that they don't wanna go through anything harder now that you in their life. Being a friend is more giving than taking. It's give, give, give. I've chose to be in this person's life and be a pillar in their life, be a solid foundation in their life, not be no iffy. Um, if you call, I'm not gonna answer. I'm with my man or different things like this, the different excuses a lot of us adults be having or the homies, man, I gotta make this move. Well, nigga, make your, well, excuse me. Well, bro, make your move then. <laughs> You know, different things like that, that, and it's it as adults. Let's talk about our age demographic here. Us adults got more excuses, like ride or die, like we scream out day one and keep it 100. You not a 100, you not a day one. You got single moms out here that got all the friends in the world, but her heat about to get cut off. And her so-called friends that come over and take her out to the club and make it rain. Why didn't y'all get that heat turned on first? That's a very interesting perspective. Those different kind of things. And these are your friends. I don't get so, that. So you're saying sometimes people get friends that's kind of leading them in the wrong direction. She got bills to pay, but the friends would rather treat her to the club instead of everybody put we, in and pay we that use, bill. Yes, sir. We take the word friendship just like, and we slander it. That's why everybody talking about you can't have friends no more. You never had no friends, fool. Them was snakes. Don't dog out the word friendship. (laughs) Don't dog out the word love. Don't dog out the word loyalty. You can't say real love or real loyalty. Love is love and loyalty is loyalty. Friendship is friendship. If it ain't that, it ain't that. It ain't a hundred and it ain't day one. Period. It ain't a hundred and it ain't day one. I can dig it. You, you, you get, <laughs> hold on, let me give you a strike for them gems you just dropped. <laughs> hey, said, hey, said, uh, could you, could, and Leola, you kind of alluded to this a little bit. You said sometimes you're a better friend than, than some of your friends. I was going to ask that as a question as well. Said, can you be a friend to somebody that's not a friend to you? you ever been somebody you like, man, this is my friend, but they not your friend whatsoever? Is that even possible? Yeah, it's it's kind of hard to break apart the two because most of us know that friendship isn't perfect. So it's not going to be that straight loyalty, everything that you believe it is. You're going to go through hardships. You're going to you're going to have growing pains, but that that's what decides to be a true friend after it all falls down and who sticks around, who's uh, uh who's actually with you to be with you. Not necessarily girlfriend, boyfriend, but like as a friend. I mean, it's, I don't know, it, it's hard to explain. 
I can dig it. What, what do you think? What do you think, Leola? Well, you said, but can you be a friend to somebody that you think you're friends with, but they're truly just not a friend with you? Is that something that's even possible? Do you yeah. think it's possible? Yes. I mean, yeah. I've been, like, in my 25 years of living, I've had a lot of friends. And like I said, the older you get, the smaller your circle becomes. Um, but there have been times when I really question, why am I friends with this person? Were they a friend of circumstance or did they really like me? Or were, are we only friends because our, our, our brothers are friends or our cousins are friends and we just happen to be together? And um, it's, I've had to break up, like had a real life breakup with a friend and it really, it broke my heart. I was like down for the count for like weeks because I was like, man, I can't believe it. But then I looked at our friendship and I realized we were never friends. I just understood where she was coming from in life. And I was just, I needed to, I was there for her at, and she was there for me at good times. But at the end of the day, we weren't really friends. But I never, I'm not gonna go and say to someone, well, we were never friends. It's just, you take everything as it is because people are there and they come through our lives for a reason and for a season, you know? And you have to be right. open enough to understand where your, your vulnerabilities are. I mean, a friend of mine, we've been friends since I was, since we were 12. And I can tell you, I have, I've cried with her and hated her decisions. But the good, the thing as a, as a friend is like, you can say, you're making a bad decision. I support you no matter what. And you're always able to pick up the phone and talk to me and scream at me, but I'm going to let you know, I told you so. And that's just what it means to be a friend. It's like, no matter what, like whether I'm a good friend to other people or not, it doesn't matter. I'm there in their life for a reason. And that's how I look at it. And then people but go by the wayside and they were never your friends. So they were never so. That, yeah, that, that make a lot of sense. What do you, what do you say, Moon Rock? Can you be partners with somebody that's not partners with you? You running around talking about, man, that's my best friend right there, but they really don't like you. Is that possible? Hell no. Hell, I can't. I, if you, I'll let you know what you are in my life. <laughs> this is what you for. You ain't my but friend. But that's easy for men Remember to say. Remember when we had a mind state of like, homie lover, go ahead, goddess, go ahead and speak. I want to hear what you got to say. Go oh, ahead no, and I say said that, it's guys. really, I'm so sorry. I said that's really easy for men to say. Y'all, I mean, y'all have it that, really though? easy. Y'all have it really easy. How is it really like, easy oh, when it, I'm, that's not true. Go ahead, Sid, that's not true. Um, my whole thing is we talking about friendship here. How mm -hmm. is it not easy just to be a friend because you are a male or a female species? See, we need something that's, we missing somewhere. That don't have nothing to do with it. Friend is a oh, friend. Oh, no, I've just always seen, I've always seen how like men, it's so easy, like how y'all, how y'all interact with one another. I've always it's been like, man, y'all make it so easy. Y'all make it look like it's so easy. Like the other day. We ain't genitalia size and no, worried I'm about saying, butts. Y'all worried about the wrong the thing. I punched that guy in the face. But <laughs> it's like I punched him in the face, but yeah, we're riding together. Like, yeah, psh, we're brothers. Like, I'm always like, what? How? Why? <laughs> and I'm sitting there thinking about, oh, she's, she's yelling at me because she's mad that her husband is doing this, that, and the other. And she's just using me as a person, like a, a per like, per what is it? A projection of this, that, and the other. But a man is like, yeah, man, he tripping. I'll come back later. It's because we never get too personal. We never get too <laughs> personal. And we so we don't go off of our emotions. Yeah, we don't go off He's our emotions. Friend. If we're a friend, we, we know where to drive the line at. Where to yeah. So that's line. why, and so that's why you're saying it's easier. So basically, yeah, you're saying even you're right. my male friends, my male friends, I can like, like I said with Tyrone, I have definitely cussed him out. Definitely. <laughs> and you know what he said? You know what this fool said to me? And I said, I'm going to stop talking to him for a while. And I did. He said, Lee, <laughs> when was the last time you got some D? 
And I looked at the boy. I looked at the boy and I was like, oh, no, he didn't. He was like, because you seem really, really angry all the time. I was like, you the truth. I'm looking yeah. at the phone and I'm, cause he's this, I'm not talking to him. Like he, or we're not face to face. I'm like, I will throw this phone. I will break my own phone. But well, I was like, that's your problem. but you I'm saying, but I'm saying he's not looking, he's not looking at all of this emotional stuff. He's just looking at, she just says chat, 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 chatty. And it's so easy for men to have this black and white look at this. And I'm like, <laughs> hey. I'm like, I will scream. I will scream. And then so I put the phone down and I said, I'm not talking to him for like three weeks. Hey, and then in my was, own defense, I, I think she was yelling at me and I didn't even really know why. And I was like, well, I don't know, man. You just seem kind of just, you know, kind of wound up. You know? <laughs> but you know, she was, made, and he she, made she it was work. going through some things. He made I, it worse. I made it worse. He made it worse. He was like, are you on your period? I was like, That's what? I didn't say man. that. But those no, are the lying. questions, but I'm honestly, lying. but, but even with you going there, with you going there, them is the questions that a friend is going to ask you because them is the basic things. Like Sid was saying, saying, the women go saying. so deep. Look at the look at what grew to be so big. It started with something so simple. You are on your period. You ain't had no D. And your friend put you that right was, where you were. Okay, I'm just saying, <laughs> saying <laughs> mass, massfully general, speaking, that's what's time, going on though. At the time, that was none of that was true. And he knew and he was just assuming because my shoulders seemed kind of tense. I had to go to the chiropractor. So, but, <laughs> I was just saying, like, for him to, can you imagine? I'm a woman. I'm a very feministy, feministy woman. And for him to say that, he knew how I was going to react. And he was like, but as a friend, we, let's just be honest. And I was like, as a friend, you know you're wrong for that. And then we got, we picked up and a few weeks later, just like no, nothing happened. And it's, that's yeah, what you look for. A friend is going to. Dude friends just get it out there. There's very there's no like nuance. Female friends will be like, let's go slash his tires. Wait a minute, that's I'm that type of friend. Wait, hang on. A female friend would be like, there's something more to it. And I'd be like, let's go slash his tires. And see, and, and this is how men are a little bit. I'll chime in for a second. I didn't even know you was mad until today. There you go. <laughs> we all finding this out together. <laughs> I was just checking the basics. Yeah. I was like, well, why are you I was so frustrated? I was so <laughs> You didn't hear from me checking. for a while. You noticed. Man. Yeah, 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 this is true. Well, well, with that being said, look, I'm going to segue over to the next question. And look, and I'm going to ask you, Leola, I'm going to let you pick it up. Can you be friends with two people that don't get along? If, if, if me and you are friends, but we don't like Daryl, can, well, no, me, you, and Sad are friends. But, but you don't yeah. like Daryl. Do you expect yeah. me and said not to be friends with Daryl? No, no, no. You're saying if I, no. First of all, that's immature. We're grownups. So I'm not going to expect you to be friends with someone that you don't like. But I'm And I'm also not going to float the messages of, can you believe they said this? And can you believe they say that? No, the relationship I have with you and the relationship I have with said is that's that. But I'm not going to go and say, Hey, said, did you hear what Tyrone said? Can you believe it? And then it's going to widen the gap. And then later on, I'm going to feel like I'm a bad person because I have just put poison into y'all's lives. That wasn't neat. That wasn't needed. That's too much going back and forth. And that's what I call witchcraft. So that's what you call witchcraft? <laughs> Moon Rock. Yeah. Can you be... <laughs> Can 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 you be friends with somebody that your 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 your, your other friend is an enemy with? Once again, no, 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 no. I'm all about the energy. No, I no, know for the okay. simple fact you you pretty much if I'm friends with somebody that which is saying I have love and loyalty for that person, you should question my love and loyalty to you. How you gonna come? You just came along. And you don't like this person that befriended me before you, and you want me to pick and choose? 
How can I pick? Why you want me to pick and choose that I want nothing but good energy and greatness around me? People that's going to empower me, be loyal to me. That's the whole problem. Everybody want to be around half-ass. They want to be around that one that got the little snake to them, but you accept it. You comfortable and convenient with it because her booty is good. So that's your little side piece female <laughs> friend. You know what I'm saying? And you comfortable and convenient with the little homie over here that got the pack every time you call him. But at the end of the day, he jack you. All these different mind states, you're supposed to be around nothing but loyalty. If you don't like my friends, you did bring something poisonous to this relationship. You brought it to me. You got to go. Get up and go. If I'm down to one friend, if my friend ends up only being me talking to myself, I'm 43 years old. That's me and Mary Jane. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it. That's, that's me. <laughs> what about you, Seth? Can you be friends with somebody that your other friend got a problem with? If, if it, it's, it's me, you, and Mick, and it's some other cat, and, I, and I'm friends with him, but you and Mick, like, I don't like that cat. Is it cool if I'm still friends with him? It just depends how deep it is. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. It, it it just depends where it all stems from. Like, say me, you, Mick, and uh, One Rock friends, and we all friends from day one, and then y'all have a falling out over something so simple, it's, it's not going to be good for me to hate him because he didn't do it to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's kind of hard to choose. It, if something, yeah, if something bad came to the to the circle that we all agreed on, then yeah, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? We, we can't really mess with him. But if it's something so simple, maybe you stepped on his new Jordan, you know what I mean? And, <laughs> and now yeah. y'all be- The simple arguments. <laughs> It's like you how, how about Jays? I ain't messing with you no more. Yeah, but it's, to me, it's like I hey. liked her first. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. but it's really you can. I think it's completely fine if you have to separate. Sometimes you have to compartmentalize your friendships. Just it's you're not. I'm not a, in a group setting. If I'm friends with one person and I become friends with the other, and the two of those personalities just don't click. That's not my, that's not my doing It's just, and it's not for me to do, it's not for me to like force, I'll try and say, maybe if you look at things from their different perspective, then you can see why it is the way that they are. But if some two people just don't, they don't get together, that's fine. We just won't all hang out together. Like, again, grownups. That's why y'all be banging like that. It take a little bit of Hennessy, one drink Ziffendale, yeah. one drink Hennessy, the other drink gin, and y'all most definitely gonna have an argument before the night is out. It may I'm not be big, I don't it know. may not I see, don't know it is. may not last long, but it be putting scars on y'all ladies for life. That's what I look at. Y'all be having scars on y'all for life the way y'all can't get along about the little petty things. Us men no, don't be worried about that. We gonna ride but, to lit. We gonna knock some heads off at the end of the day. Can't nobody crack about, jokes I'm on the homie about but both us. Both genders. I'm talking about both genders here. I'm not I talking about both rock, 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 I don't see some. I don't see some men get mad and fall out over some petty stuff and hold yeah. on to it forever, forever and two days. It, it mm. happens. Yeah, it it's happens. Dope, man. They done got a little bit soft nowadays. Day, too. Don't say that. They haven't gotten soft. The Everyone's the day, we, all, crazy. we always come back because men see the bigger picture. I That's think. what I'm on, said. Yeah, it, like you, you. Even if you, like you said, you absolutely right, Tyrone. I've seen some fellas, my <laughs> boys, we fall out over some petty. But at, throughout your whole life, you got that residue in the back of your head. You need to call your homie. You just be trying to be hard. <laughs> That thought be there, be like, man, so, so, and I, I you really don't see that in women. They will ride or die for the fact that she wore her favorite shoes on the night that she wanted to wear them and went to the club and got them out the house before she did. Different is that really, is that like really that. her friend? If, no, if that's not her friend. Like that, are they friends? No, that ain't that's, her that's friend. That's the problem. 
That's yeah, a problem. D- say it, say it. You really not friend. Like, like I hear within you talking, Lee, you've made a okay. whole lot of excuses and accepted a whole lot of differences in your life. You getting energy vampired. You trying to make everybody understand the fact that they don't want to be about the unity. I, they should feel honored to be your friend and be accepted into your circle and join with the ones that have been loyalty and loving you. That's an honor. They shouldn't come and try to be like woo-woo this or woo-woo that unless it was something like said. If the homie try to jack the other homie, bro, we got to, no. I can't, I can't ride. It ain't no more ride to live for you. You done lost your Wakanda pass. You got to get that back another way. You, you said Wakanda a lot pass. of anecdotal stuff. I, I don't understand. However, oh, uh, my bad. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's, 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 it's okay. Um, I just, uh, like you were saying, men see the bigger picture. Yeah, everyone sees the bigger picture if they want to. I just, I, for me personally, I like it. I want everyone to get along as best as they can. But if there is something that they just cannot get along with at that point, as an adult, I just go, it's okay. Y'all aren't friends. Y'all don't have to be friends. Y'all don't even have to be in the same place together. And I'm not an energy vampire or something. I don't know what that means because I like Twilight. However, What's the energy vampire, Daryl? Answer when she get done, just yeah. so you can clarify. Okay. You said that okay. twice. No, Dad, you I'm know just what the energy vampire is, said? Yeah, I get it. Someone just sucks your like sucks the good all of your goodness out. Right. Oh, okay. I didn't know. I appreciate you guys. You guys done gave me a new term for the day. Daryl being it's, no I mean, you. <laughs> I just think Damn. it's who it's I just enjoy to have to make people happy as a comedian. That's what I'm trying to do is make everyone happy. And if y'all, if there are two people who just do not get along, I can't force it and I'm not going to, I'm just going to accept that they don't like each other and move on. Um, Sometimes I want people to be all like rainbows and unicorns. It's not going to happen. So I don't force it because it's, the bigger picture is we all are looking for the same thing, all of us to be happy or to be happy in our circumstances. And that's not what am I doing all that for? I think women need a, a leader in their group. They need somebody to bring positive energy <laughs> and to be optimistic. You know what I mean? Positivity I mean, and optimistic. Yeah, to be very optimistic. I mean, if you have a group of women all of them strive to be you can strongest. only talk about your own gender y'all are not have not been women so y'all can't talk about women sorry but women like women are the other woman to come on and, and, and so we could hey. have another woman on to speak on it <laughs> she was going to talk about it but look since you since you guys are uh talking about men and women let me ask you this what if your spouse can't stand one of your friends like like detest them Daryl, your 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 spouse is like, hey, it's either him or me. What you doing? Hey, if, I'm gonna keep it real. If it's my dude, dirt bad homie, day one from the all what it's supposed to be, <laughs> she gonna have to make a choice. I was raised in the two short air. You can ride in the back seat. You know what I'm saying? I can go get another one, but this my guy. You ain't shooting for me, baby. You know what I'm saying? And that's going that like really a lot of us is with the wrong one. You ain't got like it. What happened to homie love a friend within that woman that you with? You know what I'm saying? She's supposed to accept all of you, everything, your gangster, your thug, whatever it was, you was. And them people that was around through that, that's someplace she can't even go. She shouldn't even want to go there. That's something that him as that God that's in her life. He that's something that he got to let go. If he loves that woman that much and she's worth all that, that's something for a road for him to walk down. But she better not cross that line because she up out of here. We can replace that. <laughs> Leola, what about you? You in a you in a committed <laughs> relationship? Yeah. Everything is going well, but the person you with actually like cannot stand one of your friends, and they give you that ultimatum. It's either that person or me. Oh, did she fade away? Uh oh. Yeah, she fade. 
Hope I, I still see her here. Her. I still see her here. I think she <laughs> she might have hit a pause. What about you, Seth? What if your what if your spouse can't stand your friend? Uh, if man, tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> who who was there first? You know what I mean? Man. I'll say your girl was I'll there make... first. Say the say the girl was there first. We'll see. Somebody no, it, it else just got there. Go. See, really, really, it's not her friend. That's my friend. You know what I mean? There you so go. it really shouldn't matter. So why Ooh. are you so close to you know what I'm saying? Why yeah. why are you even so close to my friend like that? Why? And why don't you like them? You know what I mean? It has to be a reason. It has to be something very, you know what I mean? Maybe, I, I agree, sometimes sometimes we might have a bad friend, and our woman can see that, like, say he tried to holler at her or something, you know what I mean? But, on the other hand, if it's just for no reason, you know, she don't like his style, she don't like how he does women, you know what I mean? It's not up to her. He be having you out too late. Every time you go out with him, you don't come back till five thirty. She said, hey. "I can't stand it. It's him or me." Hey, we men, we men, we make our own decisions. Women don't Thank believe you. that shit. Thank you. <laughs> we make Thank our you. own. Decisions. We stay out late. That's on us. Wait, are you talking about spouses or just Both. someone that you with for the moment? Both. Just somebody that you committed with. What if the, the person that you committed with, that you're like deeply committed with, tells you they can't stand your friend? Like, Leola, I can't stand your friend. I don't want you near her no more. If I ever see her again, it's her or me. What you gonna do in that situation? No, I'm not. I'm not. I mean, my friend, I, they're my friend for a reason. Um, and if you're not my spouse, I really don't understand what your opinion has to do with anything. What if it is your spouse? Your friend, opinion don't matter. Well, and my spouse, I'm sorry, I don't understand what your opinion has to do with anything. I didn't ask you to be friends with them. Don't be friends. Y'all don't want to have to be yeah, friends? Yeah. Okay, but I know I am not going to wait until the person is dead because that's how I look at it. Do I want to so say goodbye three. to my friends? No, I don't want to so wait until all they're three on of you deathbed. guys are, uh, all three of you guys are going to keep your friends. So, so everybody's spouse is going to be pissed off when they watch this. <laughs> um, why am I single? I don't even know why I'm single. I don't have divorce. I don't even. <laughs> all right, everybody. And this is Soapbox Heroes, and I'm Tyrone Nervin. Uh -huh. Hey, if you get a chance, share it. Leave some comments, like it a couple times, invite a couple people. We talking about friends. What's the true measure of a friend? And I'm going to go on to the next question. What about friends and money? Leola, should you loan your friends money? You shouldn't, but if you know your friends that who will not pay you back, whoops. <laughs> uh, you shouldn't have, that's your fault for always giving them money. And then you could be like, well, you know, they always say I'm going to give it right back. You know they aren't, so I, got something for you. I always go when I when <laughs> if it's a really good friend of mine, I'll just go. Well, I just lost a I just lost the money there, but I'm gonna end up doing it again. <laughs> I don't what you gonna end up doing it, it again? <laughs> what you yeah. What you got for that? Said I heard you said you got something for that. <laughs> I mean, if you my friend, I don't expect shit back from you. You know what I mean? Say that. If, if if I loan you some money and you ask me for that, I don't expect nothing back from you. So it's, you know what I mean? Our friendship can't be broken up over money. So if, Damn you know, sad. if I give you something, I give you that. But if you, if you steal from me, that's a different story. That means you're not my friend no more. But if, if I loan you something, I don't look for that back. I mean, you know what I'm saying? We weren't friends because of money. And if you are friends because of money, that's not your friend. That's your uh -huh. business partner or your, you know what I mean? It's, it's different. That's not your true friend. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think, Moon Rock? Friends and money. Man. Because that is something that come up and money break up a lot of friendships. When it comes that's down to money, money and business. So what do you think the, the mix should be with, with, with money and money and friends? 
But you said it. Money break up a lot of friendships. That was never a friendship. <laughs> we keep putting that title friendship on a relationship that don't even never even started with any type of thought of friendship. I will loan. I will give my friends money and just like said, I'm not worried about that. If you my real friend, I already know it'll come back. That's law. We not worried about none of that stuff. We here to empower one another. Like I said, we here to fill the void of families. What family ain't doing when family's not there. You have chose to be in this person's life to be a pillar and help build a foundation of greatness. Why are you worried about if the homie gonna throw you the cheese back? Go on and kick it, do what y'all do, handle y'all business. You shouldn't have to be worried about them little things. Is he going to steal from me? Is he going to steal a couple of buds out the bag when I walk out the room and all that? If you around people like that and you choosing to be around people like that, you're going to live a very miserable life. That is not friendship. So, so friends uh, don't even go through that. Anyone... No, that's no. not true. I mean... Go ahead, Leola. You wouldn't... You don't want anyone, of course, you don't want money to ever get in the way of friends, friendship. So that's why I'm like, there are some people, they ask me from, if they're asking me for money, I'm like, I know I'm not going to get it back. But also there are people who are, will say, well, you can, you can, you can afford to lose some money and then they like will suck you dry. And sometimes that's when you have to look and see a little bit of deeper into that friendship because they're taking advantage. That ain't no that's friendship to begin want. with. I know, if but you, know a lot of people get tricked. A lot of people get tricked because someone was their friend for years, and then they start they start to realize, oh, they they don't they don't take my problems as a priority. Or they are they always look at me as like, oh you you can afford to lose this, you can afford to lose that. And then that way you have to go and look at how your perception of yourself, how you look to them. Obviously they never thought that you were important enough. And a lot of times that's a lot of us get tricked into that. We don't know that to begin with. So you're saying people manipulate people, they'll pretend to be your friend. And when they pretend yeah. to be Friend, you don't know that's what they're doing. You take them as a genuine person because that's that's the whole pretending part. That's well, you yeah. just have to know. You just it's just some things you just have to know. You'll know who will mess you over, Man. but you just take that chance because you just I don't know why, but <laughs> you know what I mean. People that's just take stupid, a chance huh? because you think that you can get something out of it. That's that's what it comes down to. You know what I mean? You look at it, you're like, oh. Now they might fuck me over, but in your head you like, but shit, if it does work out, I can get this out of that person. You know what I mean? You can't look at ah, that as so, a friend. So are, are you are you being a are you being a friend if that's your thought? If you like, you know what? I don't I don't well, really that's trust the them opportunity. that much. It's, yeah, it's an opportunity. Yeah. That's not friendship. He's saying that's not Make friendship. An that's a, a opportunist. A lot of us call right. opportunists our friends, and that's not your friend. And we all was right. raised in the trenches, so quit acting like you don't know what a snitch look like, talk like, yep. dress like, yep. fake like, filter oh, hey, up, however, however you want to describe it. You know what fake is. We accepting fake and putting, we, we um, dead at the word friendship. We said, ain't no more love out here. I can't find a man, I can't find a woman. You gotta become a, a friend with anything before you can love it. How we got all these people married out here and we ain't got friendship out here? That don't make no sense, wake up. You do not know that someone is an opportunist right away. That's not some, especially if you don't see, you really don't. There, there, are, there are times when you, you're you looking at someone at face value and you're just thinking, oh, that's my friend. Like they would never do that to me. They would never do that to me. And then it happens. So there's it manipulative people out there. Mean. There's mm -hmm. manipulative people out there and not all of us are discerning as you make it seem. Because there has been plenty of times when I've seen it happen where someone just it, uh, does a full 180 and Can then you go, wait. I want to ask you a question, Lee. 
what are the are there levels to the friendship when you when a woman has friend is friendship with a man what do you mean are there what levels man and woman are there levels if i'm your friend and i'm a man are there levels to how we interact by law of how men and women re interact no if you're a friend you're a friend there's no gender so, bias of friendship I but mean, what can be done within our friendship that's what i'm getting at because there's a lot of teasing going on with my f body it, and or f buddy or something no you can't be that sorry that's not a friend you're so your f buddy is not that's your friend you're being an opportunist and you just want my d that's what that's what that is and i can see oh, that a oh, mile away with that with that mouth that mouth don't do this one okay yeah <laughs> she, she, she answered your question i'm sitting hey. there like my mouth don't do this with that yeah good night. <laughs> good night. I was just, I'm trying to put it out there for the masses, like, since we talking about friendship and it seems like is a, is a, we not understanding like men with women friends, like I'm asking, is it levels to it? Because there'd be a lot of mixed signals being sent. And then it ends up that you end up marrying that man all the way after you didn't did what you did, got your mouths ran up. And then you come around to find out that that friend, that man friend, now you want to marry him. Would he be wrong if he didn't marry you? I don't know what you're talking about. Do I don't get what I'm talking about. Uh, maybe the men under, but my brothers understand what I'm talking about. You will be friend a man for years and years and years, and never and give him that chance to be in. Yeah, and, and he watched you go through every. How that would, that's okay. not But it doesn't. I'm not saying it happens all the time. For some strange reason, it happens to me all the time, and I'm like, oh wait, you wanted to do me this whole time. <laughs> well, I kind of see the opportunist in that because 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 if a, if a friend if you wanted would you say something? But I get what you say too, Daryl. Because sometimes people shy they just sit there and wait and wait and wait. And so you know, I, I like me personally, I see both sides of where you guys are both coming from. I, I understand what both of you guys mean. Man. <laughs> what, what we have to do though to actually make a friend because you always start out as associate you know what i mean you'll never just become a friend straight off there's there's a certain part of you you have to hold your friends to a certain certain standard you know what i mean there's things that you go through you're like all right they passed this so we go through this now you're my friend you know what i mean just you just gotta hold <laughs> yeah standard it's yeah. a it's a it's a friend optical course and you gotta you gotta yeah, clear all the opticals yeah. Yeah. I mean, and if not, I mean, if not, you know, that's not your friend. If you have uh, money problems with your friend, Leola, you know what I mean. You say you loan your friends money, and they might not pay you back. That's one of your uh, standards that you you got to cut them off. They're not your friend. Oh no! I was just giving you I was just giving an example, but you know that you have friends that you know. They're gonna ask me for like twenty dollars. You know very well they're not never gonna give you that money. Like that, but you <laughs> that know, good. you know it's like, you know that everyone has that one friend. You everyone has that one friend, and then the one mm -hmm. friend that's like, well, well that's y'all maybe, but I know. <laughs> My or thing is, is for decades. Then you're a friend like, don't okay. enable you. A friend don't enable you. If you as a person that's not good with finances and I know what you're going to go spend that 20 or you a person that you always, your gas bill is always late and I'm that friend, I'm going to just go pay your gas bill for you. I'm not going to give you the money. Like that's when I say real friendship. Oh, what you whatever, whatever issue your friend has that you see may be their vice as they're working on their self. You go ahead and fill that void because you know family is dragging them. Family right. is dragging them. A friend fills that void with no question asked, but don't enable them. Yeah. Right. I mean, and then the Moon Rock, that's the friend. one thing. That's the one thing I will agree with Moon Rock is like you don't enable Just people. One, one. And it's like, okay, 
just one. That's the one thing. It's like sometimes you have to do that. You, have to do that. you got I'm one. You. I'm, one point. I'm going to go like whatever it is. Let me check it out because obviously this keeps on happening. So, so, that's so if you loan that friend, if you loan that friend twenty dollars, and you know they're not going to give it back, don't loan it to them. <laughs> no, it'll be, it'll be, be that simple. It's but, just huh? it's not a loan. It's like just say and like I do this all the time for fun to my parents. I'm like, oh, I couldn't go to the bank. Let me go to the big bank of mommy and daddy. But I will always go. Can I borrow? And they know very well. Just say, can I have? Like, don't come in here <laughs> with the oh the okey doke. Like we know you're well, not. You're the one not paying. Not paying. Yeah, you, you know I'm right. <laughs> yeah, that's a different one is your parents. Different one is your parents. But I'm just saying that you, everyone has that one friend that you just know. Let me, but okay, like stop through the money, BS, stop lying to me, like. But if you that didn't money give is it that to, if you didn't, to you, yeah. If you didn't give it to that, that one that friend, would they still be there? Don't loan it. Don't yeah, loan you it just in the first place. That's what said, what said, well, not said, Moon Rock said, just get to pay the bill for them. That's being a good friend. Just go and pay their bill. Always bail them out, just like the United States of America with all of these student loans. Okay, but you I, guys I are all have, kind of I saying the same rebuttal. thing a little bit. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Because said, said right. you saying you wouldn't even expect it back if you're giving it to your friend, you're giving it to your friend. She kind of saying right. it sounds like if she give it to her friend, she ain't expecting it back. She's giving it to her friend. Cause she know they ain't gonna pay it back so she, anyway. But so but see the difference is some friends, some friends. I tell you no. I some tell you friends. no. If it's yeah, that yeah. deep, I tell you no. All friends, not yeah. some. All no. And you guys, and look, if they your yeah. friend, if they your friend, they will understand that. Uh, Absolutely. De I mean? Deborah yeah. Washington Fudge. Hold on one second. Deborah Washington Fudge says a true friend will be with you through thick and thin. A true friend will be with you through the good and the bad, no matter what. Go ahead, say it. What were you saying? Oh, shit. Sure. Oh. Um, I have a I have a buddy, man. He's like, this has been my partner forever. And I, I think it's a point with men. We don't like to, It's I, I would say it's a pride thing. Say he was doing bad and I'm doing good. He would never ask me for shit. I could go over there and drop off two thousand dollars on his on his table. He ain't go touch it just because it's prideful. So what what would I do with that? Yeah. Mm, mm, that's mm. not just a man thing or a woman thing, and that's uh that's all genders. Let's just put that out there. There are some people who no matter what will not take money and will not ask for it. So that's is that a just true friend the, if they really need it wouldn't you want you want someone to say like do you know how hard that is so go up to someone and be like hey man like i really need some money like that's so hard you're making it sound it like that's not. an easy thing that's hard to it say is. i need help not if you if we start it's, really being what we're just, supposed to be just, and and, and, and seeing life how we programmed we programmed leola so much to not see that we are people of love it shouldn't be an yeah. issue for you to go i'm i was raised in a town where you could go next door and get some sugar a half a stick of butter it wasn't no pride for nothing <laughs> let's just yeah. keep it real you know we well, act I'm, like we okay. ain't had times like that and I'm not talking about just money here. Asking for help is really hard. That's not something that you can just jump up and say, oh, let me go ask for help. That's it really hard be, to be able to your it, friend. It you be. should be able to ask you your friend for so. anything. Your friend? Be, yeah. Your you're, down home? Your friend, you, you, you're going <laughs> through the same. Because if you my friend, I'm pretty sure we're going to go through the same shit. We done been down the same road. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's it's not hard. It's like if you need help, ask your partner for help because he ain't going to go Man. behind your back because that's your friend. Yeah. He ain't going to talk I mean, down I on hear what you. Guys are, I hear what you guys are saying, but I'm y'all are acting as if 
it is so easy to say to someone, I need help. And this is not just with money. It's with a lot of different things. You're acting as if it's really easy. That's not easy for anyone. It sounds like you need some better It friends. should be. It should. <laughs> no, I'm, first of all, it, 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 it should be. I, I personally would have a hard time asking somebody for money just like pride. If I said, look, I need $5,000 in a pack of chicken wings. I don't know how easy it would be to just ask. Now, I'm just, <laughs> But if you if it comes down if if it comes down to feeding your family, Ty, I know I'm gonna you call you. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna call you. Yeah. And I know if you have to call me, I know it's important. I'm not That's gonna be true. like, uh, there you, you know go. what I mean? Because you don't you don't take advantage of friends. You don't just call them every day. You need something. I you know got you. I mean? It's making sense now because your your real yeah. friends not yeah, putting you I in. Them and a friend to, to know, to, to, a friend to feel, like feel a homie event. call. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, I see what you're saying now, but I'm not talking, I'm just saying y'all make it sound like very easy. But but I now I understand where you're coming from, said a little bit. I still don't agree. Yeah, gotcha. It's really hard to ask for yeah, help. And it's really hard to, <laughs> it's really hard to admit to someone else I need help or and that's just something just across the board. And well, you need like some I friends said, that'll talk to you and that'll help you and why am I assuming I don't have good friends? I have great friends. <laughs> she, she, all she four said, of them. All four of them. Or just four? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well well how many do is it possible to have a lot of friends that you call your close wow. friends? I think you have one best friend. I was always told you had that one best friend, like, it, and then that, and yeah. then it's the rest from there. But you have that one best friend. That's all. That's how I was raised, and that's just kind of how I move. I'm not saying you can't have more than one good friend, but I was raised. You have that one best friend, and I kind of feel that because can't nobody be like that one that met you from knee high to a grasshopper and then seeing everything, all that. No one has been there longer than that one person. So that's why that resonates with me. So I just say one, because whoever was there for real from day one knows more than anyone you could ever meet. What do you think? What do you think, Sad? How many best friends can you have? Can you have 20 best friends? People be uh, like, that's my best friend. And then I'm going over my other best friend house. And then we're going to meet my <laughs> other best friends. <laughs> I, in a perfect world, I would say yes, but in the <laughs> world we live in now, I mean, it's just, I don't know. I, I got a lot of friends, I would say, that I bond with, you know what I mean? But it might be one person that we go through certain things, you know what I mean, the same way we, we just bond together better. So I, I don't know. I don't like to put the best friend thing on it. I just say, like, Cause if you my best friend, say if Rock my best friend, he ain't my best friend no more. That's my brother. You know what I mean? There you go. Yeah, yeah. So if, I I just don't like to put the best friend. If you my friend, you my friend. But if you if you closer than that, it's something that you there ain't no more friend. It's like this brotherhood. This is there ain't no uh there ain't no flipping over on me. Like either yeah. I'm a die or you a die. We we homies for life. There ain't no Absolutely. no other. Yeah. What what I, do you think, Leola? Can you have more than one best friend? Do you agree? Yeah, I you think. You concur? Well, you know, I I don't I don't know. I I I've been told before. It's like you have so <laughs> many best friends, and I'm like, because everyone to me, a best friend is my best friends. They become my family. Everyone in my family loves them and I can trust them around my children. And so, and then the, I'm not going to worry about if I don't ever talk to them again, if they pass away or something, they're going to know. I'm not going to wait until their deathbed to say everything I need to say to them always. So, again, all four of my very best friends or all four of my very best friends, did they become family? And it's something deeper than blood. Deeper than blood that will separate us. Go ahead, Seth. Question, quick question. All right, so you said you have kids, right? What would you tell your kids about friends? Because me, 
I'm a I, I love everybody. Well, I, I wouldn't say I love everybody, but like I'm very. It seems good like y'all are kind of along. selfish, so that's okay. <laughs> no, nah, I'm, I'm very good to get along with. So, what would mm-hmm. you tell your kids? Because I tell my kids, you know, when they have a problem with their friend at school, like, fuck them. You don't need them. You know what I mean? What What would you tell your kid if they have a problem with their friends? At this yeah, age, like, do, do you do you personally think that your do you personally think that your kids should have friends, or do you think they should go through life just on their own handling no, business? No, they're my first of all, my kids are kids, so of course I'm like, oh, you your friends and this, you know. The only thing I tell them is that boyfriend stuff, like that's not a thing I, over my dead body, like that kind of stuff. <laughs> But right. when um, going through life, they're going to have different friends. And I hope that their friends that they have when they're in elementary school are going to be the same friends they have through high school. And it's I'm I try my best to cultivate those relationships, but I don't force it. One day, my my daughter will be a, a mad at her best friend. She's like, I'm mad at her. She was didn't play with me. And then tomorrow, I love my best friend and all that kind of stuff. And I don't, as a parent, I don't get involved in that. When they become teenagers and preteens, then I'm going to have something to say. But for the most part, it's treat everyone with love and respect and kindness and try to be the best person that you possibly can be. That's what I teach my kids personally, because I just don't want them. We have to remember we're raising adults. So. The same way that we like, want people to treat us, we have to do the same at a foundation do, level. Do you base your Do you base your friends off what you expect? No, if that makes sense. I don't, no, because with great expectation comes great disappointment. So no, I don't. <laughs> I just what think. About, I mean, that That's a good question yeah. for everybody. Do you base your friends on what you expect? Said and then you, Daryl. Good question, yeah. Sid. I I do because I mean it's just certain standards, you know what I mean? If we we follow by the same coach, you have to if you really want to be friends. Like I would say me, I don't want no snitches in my circle. So if you're a snitch, we can't really be friends, you know what I mean? Well we can't be friends. I'm the biggest snitch in the world. <laughs> I will call the police. I will we're call do, I'm I'm we're gonna do a show right on here. Snitching. We're gonna do a I mean, show I'm, on snitching. It's, it's, yeah. it's a certain it's a certain point where you get to, you know what I mean? Like if we're friends and I know you're like that, I ain't gonna put you in that situation. I'm not gonna have you around anything that I'm doing bad if I was, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, if you were to tell on me, I know you couldn't be my friend. You know what I mean? Because I know myself. I know I wouldn't put you in that situation. Yeah, so you, uh, a friend that never put you in a situation where you had to snitch. If, I asked right. a question last week. If your friend embezzled a whole bunch of money and the FBI thought it was you, would you tell or would you take the charge? And, and, and my thing is I don't think a friend would put you in that situation. I, no, if I'm embezzling money and they think it's you, I'm going to be like, it was me. That, that's what yep. a friend would do. It, 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 that's what that's what I think. Hey, let me ask you guys this question, and we'll go ahead and we'll make this the final question, and we'll wrap it up and say you're the biggest on the screen. Let me ask you this: Are you automatically friends with your siblings, like your brothers, sisters, cousins? Well, we even throw cousins in there. Is that are you automatically because you guys are born from the same parents, or you guys got the same lineage, or whatever you want to call it? Are you automatically friends? No. Nah. Yeah, I mean, you're family, but you don't have to be friends. Not even with little friends. brother, little sister, big brother, big sister? You ain't automatically friends? I mean, you, you go go by the same rules because y'all are y'all are raised around the same stuff. I mean, my big brother, <laughs> I know he was he was raised a certain way and he go instill it in me. I grew up around the same parents he did, you know what I mean? So it's it's I don't know. I wouldn't say friends, but because you go love, you go fight with your brother and sister all the way until you hit a certain level. Like, 
birthday. I had a sister. We might fight until junior high, middle school, and then we become best friends. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, it takes a while. It takes a while to to learn it. All right. What do you, what you what do you think, Moon Rock? Are you automatically friends with your siblings? Hell no. <laughs> you know, Hell my, no. Whole, my mind state is I got to love you. Like, I feel like you should love everybody, period. But I ain't got to like you. Like, my friend, I like and I love you. You know what I'm saying? That's a breath of fresh air. <laughs> even when we going through it, like, them are the type of friends that I have around me. Like, even when we going through it, it don't matter what happened. We still going to do what we do, how we do. So when it comes to family, especially siblings and cousins and all that, and look at the age we are. You can't be my friend and you don't even know my kids' ages. My friends do. It's a lot of levels to some things you don't even know that you should know by law as family that you ain't even tried to strive to do as a friend. It's a whole bunch of levels I look at. So no, 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 no. Family, you got to love them because you was raised. That's what's kind of <laughs> like pressed in you. It's pressed in you. It ain't nothing that's going to take you away from that. So no, no, no. I mean, I'll be honest right now. I'm still not friends with some of my siblings, but I love them. <laughs> but we don't talk. And it's good. I love them. But we ain't got to go to Thanksgiving. We ain't got to send no cards. I don't need your kids' Christmas pictures. None of that. That's messed up. That's <laughs> it is, but I'm caring with mine because I'm I'm to this yeah. point to where if they're not doors open for me to love you, why can't I give that love to where doors are open? Like that's not gonna keep me from loving your your young life also. But I ain't got no time to be knocking on the door asking you, do you want some love? And I'm that I'm your family by law, blood, everything. So I'm cool on that. They can be where they want to be at. You know where I'm at live on Facebook every single day at 9 30 in the morning. <laughs> but they, they, damn bull rock, you said I don't I don't need the Christmas pictures either. I don't you can get the Christmas pictures. Boy, it got deep that. around here with that. Yeah. All that. All that. Because we be susceptible to that. Because you know, you see a lot of siblings that use that to show the level they own like financially in this man made world. That ain't showing, my, my light's about to get cut off. I don't need to see no picture of all your kids in the same color sweater from, from, from Macy's or Zinfandel's and all this stuff. <laughs> like, like for real, like we really need to look at how we show and represent ourselves. It's a time for everything. I'm not taking away from what you strived and worked for, but it's a time for everything. I've been in a point where I didn't have no lights or no nothing, had so much yellow on my teeth and I didn't want to get in the cold water and wash, but would force myself. Do you think I want to get some mail that got y'all with this big old tree behind you? You got a bow on the Lexus? For real? How you get a bow on the Lexus? And I'm struggling and we family, like different things like that. We're not really looking at it right. We're looking through it through man's eyes. Like you need to get up off your elbows. No, we all have been programmed. I just was soaked. I was in a more of a sunken place. Pull me up out of that. That's law as family. You ain't going to never see an ant leave another ant behind. They're going to pick up that food and keep going to that ant hill. And that other ant going to beat his brother's butt when they get inside that ant hill. He ain't going to beat it outside in front of the beetles. The beetles can't see that weak link in the place. I don't understand. I don't understand bugs. But I don't understand bugs. <laughs> <laughs> You don't understand the bug talk. He's saying no, that like, the ants don't leave. They, they there's no let. They don't leave their friends see, in the field. On, they they never I go live them down. I was on there, and then he was like the ants, and then the beetles. I thought he was talking about a u n t s. Like I was. I don't. I got ants. confused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Army. You, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the unity and uh, it's natural in animals, bugs, anything of nature. They don't they don't have the issues that we the most intelligent have when it comes yeah. to loyalty and the foundation of love. So I was just putting out like a little uh, something visual. So the ants, yeah. we know that ants stick together. Mm -hmm. They walk in a line. They they, play they protect their role. the queen. They protect all that. We can learn the if queen. we get back to nature. <laughs> protect the women. Don't yeah, want a, the queen don't want a goddess. I mean, don't want a god these days, though. They want uh, be because we self. have a god in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Come on. I don't even know. Uh oh, yeah. Don't look, get me look, started. You, 
Anyway, Look, you guys so about to again, you guys about to start a whole nother show, Leola. <laughs> are, are you are, are you automatically supposed to be friends with your siblings? No. But your cousins are your first friends. Your cousins are your first friends, but your siblings your first, aren't. But your siblings, <laughs> you have you're forced to grow. You're forced to be around your siblings. You're forced to like. You guys are forced to be together, and then you somehow morph into a friendship. Like my brother is my best friend because we're two. We're two of the kind. But do we? When we fight, oh, I'm like I would not. I don't. I don't even get that angry with anyone. But your family, they know how to push those buttons, and then all of a <laughs> sudden you're not best. talking to. Yeah. So I mean, I have a sister of mine. We're ugh. anyway. There's a ton of us, but the whole point is you don't like to, you you don't have to be friends with your family. It's really nice when you are, but it's not, it's not a, like a mat. It's not like, yeah, we're friends. Because if you have to look at what do you let your friends get away with and what would you let your family get away with? There are different oh. things. There's oh. levels. Yeah. Like you like you in luck. Like huh? levels in luck. What'd you say, Seth? Y'all are gonna have to start paying people back if she wants some friends, man. Man, y'all, um, y'all, I have a PayPal. If y'all want to pay me so I can pay people back, I got PayPal. So just slide into my DM. Hey. Moon Rock. I got All cash right, app and PayPal too. <laughs> 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 and I'm pretty sure said do too. We got so far <laughs> heroes <laughs> on it. <Yeah. laughs> Man, and cash app it. Uh, that help. I'm, we we so broke heroes around here right now. So uh, help, help yeah. a friend out. I'm a, I'm a know, mother. Yeah. I'm a mother who happens to be single. I can't be in. I can't be all out there in them streets. I gotta work. We fathers out here getting shot at on a daily basis. Yeah. Oh goodness! Wait, Get I thought you said this out. was the last question. I'm trying to get into this. <laughs> that was the last. That was the last question. We gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Hey, everybody, if you got, you guys got anything else that you want to say on friendship, something that's on your mind? You go, what, what about you, said? Let me say something real quick. Let me go real go ahead. Quick. Go ahead, Mo. I just want to say, um, because it was on our mind, we talked about a lot of toxic that we was calling friendship. Everybody mm -hmm. need to see what's the toxic, even when it come to family members. If it's toxic when they call, you got to get that out your life. That mm -hmm. what don't have levels. If it's toxic, get rid of it. And when you strong enough to be able to handle it and put up with it because it may be a family member or a close friend, then you get back to that. But you got a life to live too. That's what I want to say. That's it. Uh, and I would like to piggyback a little bit on what Moonrock said. And that's and he's all the way correct. And but don't just point. get rid of people. Don't get rid of people. Just remember that everyone has problems and our struggles. And if you could just give a little some a positivity, just a smile to somebody, it goes a really long way. And your their toxicity or whatever, remember there's there's always a different story. There's a deeper level there, and we just need to be a little bit more kind. So those toxic people, they even they need a little bit of a, a ray of sunshine. And unicorns and rainbows. So don't just throw everybody your way. Said you got something that you want to say? I would say just be positive and be optimistic. I mean, take chances, but if you want if you want real friends, you got to create them. Basically, you know want real I mean? friends, if you got to create them. You, you got to yeah, you got to you got to create what you put out. If you want positive friends, you got to create positive environment you got to show them what to expect be a leader all right i want to thank everybody for watching this has been soapbox heroes i want to thank all the guests for coming on and um they kind of stole my thunder i all night i thought about what can i say at the end and i was going to say hey if you want good friends you got to be a good friend and you can start by listening to this song with Stop.